Hey everybody, this is Angie Hunt. We're in the LDRS Creative Booth at Creativation 2019, and we're gonna take a little trip all around the booth to show you what we've got new this year. If you know polka doodles, then you're already familiar with our Winnie character, and we have a lot of stamps in our Winnie collection here. But what I want to show you is our new Holly character up here. She's just adorable. These are rubber stamps. They're foam mounted, contour cut, and we have four absolutely gorgeous new Holly stamps for you. And then continue, continuing on with our polka doodles, We've got some adorable critters for you. Rubber stamps once again. These are really big stamps. They have beautiful scenes, beautiful characters. All of our rubber stamps are designed for you to color and customize them however you want. You can color them with markers, with paints, with pencils, whatever your heart desires. And then we've also added some paper piecing uh, die sets again with Winnie we've got three different sets look at these dies you get a whole collection of dies in each set so that you can cut out all of your little patterns all your little pieces and make Winnie however you want really cool thing about these is that you can mix and match the hair you can mix and match the faces and all of the clothing and the accessories and you can even create amazing scenes with the super scenes set so how much fun is that? We just love these. To go with them, we have some delicious papers. And if I could show you these paper packs right here. These papers have all kinds of colors in here. We've got colors for hair. We have colors for all different skin tones and for all of our clothing and all the accessory pieces. And I don't know if you can see that really close up or not, but there's little teeny tiny patterns on each of these so that they're really small and they're going to work beautifully so that you can give her stripes on her dresses. You can give her little polka dots and completely customize however you want. And we have one more brand new character from Polka Doodles. Her name is Ruby. And she is, um, she is just very current, very trendy. And if you look, these are actually photopolymer designed to be colored. They're about a four inch stamp. And they're absolutely adorable. Ruby is always dressed to the nine, so we absolutely love her. And you're gonna, ha you're gonna enjoy all three of these. Now, if you look right next to, you, to Ruby here, we've got our hybrid ink collection. In total, we've got 25 colors to our hybrid inks. We have them in the full size pads here, and then we also have 24 of them in the mini ink sets. What's a hybrid ink? If you're not sure what it is, it is the only ink pad that you're going to need. Hybrid inks, it's a, it's a cross between a pigment ink and a dye ink, so it's gonna have the characteristics for both. It's going to allow you to stamp and then use it for your alcohol markers, for your watercolors. You can even dry emboss with these. You can stamp these on a glossy surface and heat set it. So it's the only thing you're going to have to grab. There's two things I really want to point out to you though, because as a crafter myself, I always wanted to have an ink that was a really true, true black. And I'm telling you, our Raven black ink is a very true black. And it's going to stay a real intense black. And then if you take a look at our white here, I want to show you this sample. Look how spectacular and how intense that white is when we stamp that on black. So when you stamp that on a dark surface, it's not going to fade as it dries. It's going to stay real true, intense white. And we love that.
Now here at LDRS Creative, we love to have a party. We love celebrations. So we have created for you an entire um, an entire sweet treat celebration set. So we call this we call this our party wall here. Um, in here, you're going to get a whole series of photopolymer stamps. These are all designed for you to make really special and fun cards, invitations, and scrapbook pages. Just look at these. Everything coordinates together, so you can mix and match all of these sentiments and all of the fun little pieces in here. Look at these right here. I just love these. This, this one is one of my favorite sets. This is ice cream party. So you can actually piece together all of your own ice cream cones. We've even, even got one here where we've dropped the ice cream cone and it spilled because we all know that that happens. <laughs> and over here, look at this one, goody gumdrops. One of my favorite things when I was a kid were those little squishy little gumdrops to chew. And so that's why we have this set. It's absolutely fun. So you can mix and match these. All of the sentiment sets work together across all of them. So whichever one you want to use, you're good to go. We've also added a whole new line of our papers. Now, if you know our papers, they're always going to be at least 80 pound cardstock. I love a good, solid, um, thick paper to work with so that my projects are going to stand up and, and really stand the test of time. Well, the, pa the pattern play sets are just that, but they're also double-sided. This is the whole set right up top here. This one comes from the Sweet Treats collection. So you can see all these beautiful, beautiful, bright, vibrant, clean, and simple patterns. A lot of fun to work with. So this is your Sweet Sensations right down here. And then over here, we've got our candy counter set. Our candy counter set is full of um, all kinds of fun sweet treats as well. All 24 different patterns, front to back. These you can actually mix and match and coordinate the two together. So these are going to be six by six, but if you look right down here, we're also bringing these to you in 12 by 12. So for all you scrapbookers, or if you're doing your interactive cards with your larger die sets, these are going to be for you. Now over here, we've got something really, really exciting for you. This is our On The Move set. This includes several stamp sets and all of these dies down here. And I'm gonna go through and explain each of these to you. And I'm gonna start with this die set right here. This die set is our On The Move Swivel Slide. And I know you've all seen these cards before where you pull the tab and the character slides over, but have you ever gone over a real curvy curve or an S-curve? This right here, this die with this die and this die. Those three pieces together are going to allow you to have a mechanism in the center of that pull tab that is going to allow it to bend and curve and pull your character around the curviest of curves. That is super exciting. We have some add-on die sets. This is one of those curves that I'm talking about right here. So we have this around the bend add-on set and then we have the jump to it. So this die right here, you can have your little bunny springing across the yard if you want. And speaking of across the yard, we've got some other coordinating sets, stamp and die sets here, where you can actually set a scene. So this one is going to give you a really, really cute neighborhood. It's got three sets in here. You have the neighborhood, you have the road, and you have this really fun hill. This set comes with, I don't know if you can see that back there, but there's a die right there in the background. And I'm gonna to explain to you in just a moment what that's for, because that is super cool as well. We've got another scenic set, and this is your landscape. So you have your beautiful clouds and your hills. Again, it comes with a die. And then here we have our going places. So you have that big S curve and you have your little train and your cars and your trucks. Everything you need to be on the move and on the go. So let me show you another, this is, it's kind of a triple, triple motion, triple motion kind of thing we have going on here. We have these three critter sets up here. And you're probably wondering, what is that piece? 
Well, this is our hip bone. If you notice, she's got a tutu on and she's dancing. This piece right here is going to allow her to wave at you. It's going to allow her little leg to move. And I'm going to show you a sample of that. We've got our super critters right here. Super critters. Notice he's got both of these have their little cape because they can fly. What's extra special is this little raccoon. And if you're wondering what that piece is, that is the one that makes him move. And then over here we have a third set that is the on the move and you're going to have a fl flamingo that can wave at you. Let me show you what that all means. Remember that raccoon that I showed you? Watch this. Look how cute that is. So I can move him right along. All we do is add a simple little brad in there. Color it in, disappears, you're good to go. Now what does it look like when I start to play with these dies? And I've got my tab master die set and I've got my scenic sets and my critters together. Well watch this. Here's one of your pull tabs. You're going to watch our little zebra go up and over the hill and then he's going to come right back down and watch that plane in the background. That plane is going to soar right up in the sky. And what's more, we've even got a little moving part which I can't seem to grab. There he is. There it is. Of course, whenever you're on camera, you can't make it work. <laughs> but do you see this track anywhere? Do you see any of those tracks? That's what these dies do right here. So we used this landscape set. And in the foreground, we have the beautiful little hill. Then we have the mountains in the background and then the sky. And we use this die right here to hide that mechanism. So when we move our little zebra across that hill, you don't see the mechanism. So not only can we go around these curves, we can move our characters, we can move parts of our characters, and you don't see how they're moving. So you get to surprise all your friends. Now we all love dyes, and we love crafting, and we love crafting made easy with dyes. So that's what we try to do for you. We've got some fantastic background dies here. If you take a look at this one, for example, this is our sunburst die. And what does that do? I'm going to show you. If you look right down here, look at the beautiful background you get on that sunburst die. You're going to put that die through your machine only one time, and you can create this card in a matter of minutes. We've got another brand new background die here, and this is our barber stripes. This is a set of three dies, fits an A2 size, card both of these do as a matter of fact. A2 size card but look at how much fun this is. We made a shaker card in no time at all. You're going to love that. A couple of my favorites over here and I really want to point out to you we have this brand new fringe die and we have the scallop border set. Now this fringe die is really special in that it only cuts, it cu cuts in the front cuts only on one side so you can continue to move that die across your paper and create a super long piece of fringe from your paper. Look at how beautiful the fringe is up here on this card. I want to show you something really cool. This is what happens when you com combine the fringe die with the scallop border set. The scallop border set is going to give you three sets so you get to have all kinds of fun with scallops but if you use that teeniest little die right there and you work with the fringe die in the edge, look what I can create. Scalloped fringe. How much fun is that? And all I'm doing here is layering three pieces together, or four actually, and I've got an absolutely gorgeous card in minutes. One of the really, really fun and exciting things that we've got to show you this year is our florals. So we have two floral stamps up here. This one is a solid stamping, so you can really, really easily layer these together. We have a sample right up here. Look at these beautiful roses. Layered together, just stamp one color, solid color, on top of the other, no coloring at all, and you have a gorgeous, gorgeous card. We have our beautiful blooms right here. You're going to stamp these very simple coloring. Gives you a gorgeous card once again. Look how beautiful that is. Very simple coloring. We've made the bouquet for you. Now, if you're wondering what these two sets are right here, this is our If Friends Were Flowers and Love and Smell the Roses. And when I turn this over, you're going to see that we have a very large 5x7 clear stamp set. 
It's got all the pieces that you need. This is a peony set, and then we have the roses as the other. You're going to get all of these dies included as well. You're going to be able to do masking really simply and create any kind of a custom bouquet or English garden, if you will, of your own on your cards. We've got all of these beautiful sentiments. Now these sentiments are all, if I put this on the front here to make it a little bit easier for you to see, all of these sentiments in here, they can be crossed and mixed with the Love and Smell the Roses set. It's all one font, very simple, very clean. You can create your own sayings just by pairing them with each other. Furthermore, notice this has a very large friend stamp. It's kind of hard to see up under here, but we have two dies in here. One of these will cut out the word friend, and one of these will cut a border around it. So you can layer to your heart's content. And then all of these dies over here that are going to cut out all of these florals for you as well. Just look how easy and how beautiful that card came out. That is just from the peony set. Now we all love when we have sets that contain both our stamps and our dies. And so we have some just for you. We've got puppy dogs and we've got kittens and they're just doing their little play things. If you look here, we've got all these little puppy dogs. We've got one chewing on his bone and he's just waiting for you at the door. He's got all of his coordinating sentiment sets and all of his dies so you can easily cut these adorable characters out. We have the same thing for these little kittens here. And then if you come over to here, we've got Puppy Love and Safari, stamps and die sets in there as well. This is one of my favorite cards I want to point out to you. We have just stamped over and over again that little zebra. They're all colored in black and white, except for this little guy that stands out. How cute is he? Just love him with his rainbow coloring. One of the really, really cool things on this wall that I want to point out to you though, is this twirling pop-up die kit. This die kit comes with 17 dies all together. It's going to give you all the mechanisms you need for those cards that open and twirl and pop up. And we've even got an instruction sheet in there. I want to show you just what that means. In this card sample, this is a really cool card sample, very fun interactive card. There's a little hippo who's going to wave at you. We've made this into a shaker card, but watch what happens when I open this. Bam! How much fun is that? I just love these. This has been one of our most fun interactive cards. We just love these. We've made it really, really easy for you. All you need to do is cut out the pieces with your dies and you're just going to glue them down on your cards. It's no more fussy cutting, no more measuring. It does all the cutting and scoring for you. Super easy. Thank you all so much for joining us at Creativation. I love showing you all of our new products in our booth tour, and I hope you love seeing them. Make sure to look for us online at our website, ldrscreative.com, on Instagram, and on YouTube. Bye for now.